out there and welcome to your music um, stroke topic sort of lesson. So today what we are going to be looking at is actually um, elements um, related to the Chinese New Year um, and one of the key things that happens as part of the Chinese New Year celebrations is the dragon dance. So what I'm going to do is just going to bring across this here for you. Um, now um, hopefully here you can see um, that there is uh, a little sort of picture here. Now, if you click on this picture, hopefully for you, it will work that it will start playing the video file um, so that you can actually respond to it. If the video file doesn't work from within Word, you will find that it has actually been uploaded as well to your work folder and you'll be able to click directly on it within that and that should play on all computers. Um, if not, um, then what I'd advise you to do is to find a video of a Chinese dragon dance on YouTube um, and see if you can respond to it in the same way. So um, we're going to be thinking about uh, two key things. So the tempo, so the speed of the music, is it fast or slow? Um, and the dynamics, so how loud or quiet, or actually for a musical term, how loud or soft the music is. So, you know, how does it change? What happens with it? Um, and then also the, the challenge is for you to sort of like see if you can join in. So remember, we can use our body percussion. You can clap in different ways. You can tap on the table. And actually, as an extra bit in this, now, you may not be able to do this straight away. And obviously, with lockdown, I'm not asking people to go out and specifically um, actually um, go out shopping for um, things at the moment. But this is a little activity that I have also got in there for you, which is making a Chinese drum. And you can see here that there is a little list of different equipments that you know you might be able to do, you might be able to need. And I'm sure you can like adapt this, you know, you might be able to actually use some cardboard that you've got uh, lying around at home. So you don't need to use the paper plates um, and other bits of pieces like that. And you can see that it actually breaks down the instructions for you as well, as well as giving you the overview on the front page. And if you do that, and then this is one of the drums which you actually play um, by putting a stick in your hand and you can make it turn around and that makes um, the beads, in the case of this one here, come around and um, sort of, you know, hit either side of the drum. And it um, can make a, a really nice, fast drumming sound. Um, and actually, it's really, really good for um, developing uh, sort of like your coordination and your sort of fine and gross motor skills as well. Cool. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy this um, activity and I will see you later on.